Cool. Uh, what we have here is uh, a new debut for the show. It's our Joker Clown Prince of Crime line. Um, it is a companion piece to the Batman Black and White, and honestly, I don't know what took us so long to get here. Um, <laughs> for every artist that we brought to Batman Black and White, they have done a Joker in some fashion, so we have, I mean, we're ready to have 100 statues and ready to go. Uh, but we're going to kick off with the Brian Bolland, because there's very few iconic images more known than like Batman or Joker by Brian Bolland. So here we are. It's uh, due to hit stores in November. It's price TBD, but probably roughly around the price of a Batman black and white. Um, he'll also come out with a Brian Bolland Batman, which we can get to later, but if you want to do a sneak peek. Um, so there he is. Um, both will be in stores roughly around November of 2020, so look for that. Um, super excited about this line, like I mentioned. Um, Early 2021, we'll probably bring you the Jim Lee Joker. Uh, for the longest time, that was one of our best-selling Batman black and white statues. So it only meant sense to put it in full color, introduce it in the Clown Prince of Crime line, um, and just to see the breadth of where this line could be. We'll have unique color schemes to the, the artist's intentions, so we obviously have the more saturated colors. Um, and then finally, in um, probably early spring, we'll see the Libra Mayho Joker again all brought to life in a new color scheme and what would be his what would be seen in his Joker book um, so it was a fan favor for a while we love this piece and we just were real excited to bring it to fans again um, and again with a proper color scheme and invited in the clown prince of crime line and this is much later this is 2021 this will also be 2021 so these are really early reveals but we want to kind of show you the breadth of what this line will be we have pages of artists ready to go um, so we'll get to work and sculpting new figures as soon as we get back and again real excited um, it's gonna be a great line I think and we're getting a lot of good fan feedback from this all right so what we have now is the Harley Quinn red white and black statue line um, starting with Steve Pugh from Harley Breaking Glass uh, due to hit stores roughly in midsummer um, again a great statue we've seen before um, we wanted to show with the line uh, just because it is such a unique take on the character with her checkered flannel red and black so that's where you get your red and black in this piece um, just a great design and a really well received book so we were happy to support it and get behind it when we can uh, next to that we have an Amanda Connor again another uh, statue from the Batman black and white line originally um, it just made sense to put her in red, white, and black. Um, she just stands out. A great costume, great look, a really strong piece. So look for that to hit stores in late summer of 2020. Uh, a show reveal is the Stanley Lau piece. Uh, you may recognize it from ooh, about six years ago. We did a Stanley Lau covers girl, cover girl run at nine inches. We brought it down to seven inches just in case you missed her the first time. Uh, so look for this one to hit stores late this year, um, probably around November. Um, next up, we have the Julian Titino Tedesco Harley Quinn. Um, based off the cover, as you can tell, once we saw the cover, we, we just knew it had to be a statue. So here it is finally, just uh, new a few days ago, hit the shelf. Uh, look for this to probably hit stores uh, early 2021. Uh, so much detail in this, if you look, I mean, between all the, the spatter, all the different buttons on her lapel, and the anti, the bat buttons, uh, so much detail captured in one piece, and the translucent bubble that she's blowing. So it's it's a really, really impressive piece that we're excited to bring to you. Now, is that all one piece, or do people have to, like, put the bubble in her mouth? Or hand Good question. Oh, this is just a prototype, so it's going to be <laughs> what the factory deems uh, the best way to get it to fans uh, to make sure uh, no breakage issues. So we might have to do a bubble in the mouth, maybe the mallet, just because there's so much going on with this piece. Uh, so TBD on exactly how many pieces it will be, um, but we'll, we're just excited to have it to you at the show right now. And... Last but definitely not least uh, is a J. Scott Campbell piece. So we are almost 25 statues in and somehow we haven't done a J. Scott Campbell. So here you go. Um, great cover artist, as you can see. Um, real excited. I think this was inspired by her Little Black Book series. Um, so much going on with this piece too, really fun. Um, just lends itself, like his artwork just lends himself to Harley so well. Um, and as you said, like, five different statues with five completely different looks right. it's and why this and all the same character so it's it's a really fun line uh, that brings everyone a little taste of something from Harley